Hello and welcome to TorontoWebsiteDeveloper.com. I am Pete Yorsky, Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And welcome to the first video tutorial in this 10 part video tutorial series on the Views module. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be doing this. Uh, as you'll know, if you visited my website, I've got a, uh, a forum there that people can provide feedback on my tutorials. And what I've gotten a lot of is people asking about views uh, in one shape or form. So what I've done is decided to go ahead and create a comprehensive video tutorial series. It's going to be 10 video tutorials in total on views start to finish. And we're going to look at things like getting started with views, creating a view, customizing your view, creating pages, blocks, attachments. You know, attachments are kind of hidden in views. Uh, then we're going to look at theming views, we're going to get into relationships, we're going to look at contextual filters, we're going to go on to advanced views development, so you're going to look at hook views data, creating your own tables in there, your own fields, we're going to take that a step further and look at custom handlers, so we're going to do this for numeric strings, how we override those with our classes, we'll take a look at the five star module which does some pretty cool things, and then we'll look at uh, cloning views, exporting views, importing views if you want to transfer these to different sites as well as uh, our recap will look at cool uh, views add-on modules. So the reason why I'm doing this is because when I started out with Drupal I had no idea what views was but I knew that every site essentially had views um, and the reason for that is because it makes your life so much easier. However, I couldn't find one resource out there that started views start to finish. Even recently I've been doing some development trying to do the, the hook views side of things, custom module development, and I was still having trouble finding stuff on views and how to use views uh, and take it to the next level. So I decided uh, after a little bit of deliberation uh, to just go ahead and do this. Uh, I've still got a couple other series on the go. We're going to be Uber, doing Ubercart series two, but I wanted to get this out there and do them jointly. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is talk about what views actually is. Uh, I know I've done this in a couple other video tutorials, so you can fast forward this part if you already know and are familiar with views. But essentially what it does is it creates a graphical user interface that you can then query your database with. So we know if you've checked out my Ubercart tutorial series that Drupal is essentially database driven. So you're going to have a bunch of information in a database and you've got to get that out and render it onto web pages. So that's essentially done through a bunch of queries uh, through MySQL or if you're using Postgres, but essentially they're, they all come down to, you know, select from where. So you're going to select some piece of data from some table where some condition is met. And so if you were doing this programmatically, you'd constantly be writing these queries over and over again, and it would start getting very repetitive. So what ended up happening was Merlin of Chaos went ahead and created the views module. And what that allows you to do is actually query your database from within the Drupal site itself. So you can build all these views, uh, save them and reuse them, uh, change them, modify them, override them, and all within the Drupal site itself. So it just takes this repetitive nature of constantly developing these queries and makes it a lot easier to do with a module out of the box. So that's what views is. Um, looking at setting it up, what you're going to do is go over to drupal.org slash project slash views and this is the views module itself. So I'm not going to actually go through downloading and installing it, but I'm running a Drupal 7 installation, so I would get the Drupal 7 uh, version here, download the tar, uh, un you know, unzip it, put it into my sites slash all slash modules folder, and then I would head back to my site and I would go and enable that. If you're not familiar with those steps, check out my first video tutorial, I believe it was my first video tutorial, in the Ubercart series. If it's not the first, check out, um, it's probably two or three, where we actually go and we start downloading these video tutorial, uh, downloading all the modules for that series. One of them is views, so you can get an idea of what we do. Once you actually go ahead and do that, you'll see that in your modules list here, we're going to have views. So you would click and enable views, and you'll need views UI as well. Views has a dependency, so you'll also need chaos tools. So again, not hard to get, drupal.org slash project. If I could type, I apologize, slash chaos tools. No, C tools, sorry. That's why it's not coming up. So C tools, you're gonna need the Chaos Tool Suite. Again, Drupal 7 version, so I've got that. I've enabled it. For the sake of this video tutorial series, I'll just uh, give you a fair warning. I've gone ahead and um, deactivated the overlay module, as well as the uh, toolbar that comes with Drupal, and I've gone ahead and downloaded and installed the admin module. So that's what you're seeing here. Uh, I think it's a little bit cleaner. I've used it more often, I'm more familiar with it. So now that you have those installed, let's go and we'll check out actual views itself. So you're going to go to structure, views, 
and we'll just click on from there. And this is what the views UI provides you. So if you don't have this or you couldn't find your list here for views, it's probably because you didn't enable the views UI module. So go back and, and do that. Now out of the box, views does provide you with a few different quote unquote views. And so what those are different, um, you know, queries essentially that create pages or blocks or whatnot. So these are all here in another video tutorial. We'll take a look at some of the stuff that comes with views itself. But for the sake of this first video tutorial and getting you familiar with the views module, we're going to take a look at the settings. So uh, to be honest, I didn't know this tab was here for the longest time. I just didn't pay attention to it until I needed to see the views uh, SQL query. And then I realized I have a settings tab. So wanted to make you aware of this. Interesting thing here we have. So show the filters on the list of views. Once you create a lot of views, you can actually tag them as you know custom or if they're related to a certain project. Um, this will allow you to uh, filter that list. So I'll show you when we go back to it. This always show the master display. When we're creating views, we can set up a master display and then off of that, create a page, create a block, create an attachment. And so this will allow us to see that master views or what used to be the default view um, in Drupal 6 and, and I guess anything before views 3. So always, always show uh, the advanced display settings. So what that is, is our contextual filters and our relationships. You'll see that those are minimized when we actually get into views. We could enable that here so that they're always there. Um, not a lot that you need to know here, but the one thing I did want to draw your attention to is showing the SQL query. So this is neat because if you're you know, learning Drupal, you're starting to learn PHP, SQL, you want to get into things, you can actually see the, the query that Views is developing and get an idea of what the SQL looks like if you ever wanted to do something yourself for whatever reason. You can also look at the performance statistics so you can know how well your site is performing for what type of information you're drawing in. Um, and this can, you know, this can have some implications if your site is huge, so you might want to check that out. Um, and as well, other queries can be run during, uh, during view. So we want to go ahead and see these configurations. And again, uh, there's an advanced tab when you're in settings. And so you can disable caching. So if you're actually doing development, which we'll be doing in, you know, the seventh or eighth video tutorial, um, and we're looking at hook, um, views data, we might want to turn off this caching so that we don't have to, if we make any changes, clear our caches and pull in the new information from our module. Also, the debugging uh, is helpful here, and you can see that uh, we can actually use the Bell module and uh, use the watchdog. So when we're looking at our logs, um, again, this is pretty in depth for our first video tutorial, but uh, we'll be looking at our recent log messages when we're when we're doing some development later on. But uh, just drawing your attention to that. So that's kind of the setup, the back end. Um, just quickly, we'll take a look at adding a new view, and we're going to do something kind of you know. Uh, right out of the box, nothing crazy. Uh, just to get a feeling for what views provide. So we're gonna click Add New View, and first thing that views wants is a name. So we'll call this uh, Dog Images. I've gone ahead and uploaded a bunch of images. If you watch other my video tutorials, you know that Bailey and Susie are frequently on our uh, screencast. So our description is gonna be just um, just random photos of Bailey and Susie. Right, so this description is just for myself. So when we're looking at the views list, you'll see the description here. And it just gives you an idea of what your specific view is at a high level. So secondly, we're gonna to wanna to show content files. Depends on what you're looking at here. Essentially what this is, when you go back to your SQL, you're gonna be pulling in information from specific tables. So this is your base table. So when we say we wanna pull in content, we're gonna pull in things from the node table. We can relate other information, but that's essentially what we're gonna be pulling in is nodes. If we wanted to list all of our taxonomy terms, we would say taxonomy terms. Otherwise, if we were doing content and we were just trying to pull in taxonomy terms, we would get the taxonomy term for every piece of content that we have and you get duplicates. So I have a taxonomy term for Bailey and a taxonomy term for Susie. Rather than see Bailey and Susie just once because they're only one term that exists on my site, I would see them six, 10 times, however many times I've tagged a content with their names. So here we're just gonna stick with content, stick with the node table. So of type, like I said, all I wanna see is my dog pictures and we'll do this as newest first, right? So we have the opportunity to sort this. So you could look at unsorted, you could go oldest first, you could sort by the title of the actual piece of content or the number of times that it's been 
viewed, right, for lack of a better term, uh, what they refer to as hits. So moving on from there, you have two options here out of the box, create a page or create a block. Essentially, a page will be just like it sounds. You can go to TWD uh, box seven slash, and then uh, dog images is a perfect one here. Um, so we'll leave that, and then that will actually be your view accessible there. What the block does is you can go to you know your structure, your blocks, at, and actually place that block somewhere on your page within a region. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, again, check out the first couple of video tutorials in my Ubercard video tutorial series, which kind of go over the terminology for, for Drupal. But my page title, so that's essentially going to be what the page uh, you see here. So add a new view is the page title here. Mine is going to be dog images. The path is going to be a dog images. Now the display format. We have a couple options here right out of the box from views. So we can look at a grid, an HTML list. Um, forget slideshow because that really shouldn't be there. Uh, it's an additional module that we'll look at way later. Uh, table and then unformatted list. Obviously these are all uh, theming functions that are available out of Drupal. Um, so we'll just do a, I don't know, we'll look at a grid. I'll show you what that looks like. So um, we'll do of teasers because we're not going to get into actually customizing this view in this video tutorial. Um, and we'll do it without links. So a person can't add comments. They could add comments or without. So we'll do without. And they're going to have without comments. Items to display. We'll display 10 at a time. And when it says use a pager, it'll display 10. You can go to page 2 and see the other 10. Page 3 and see the other 10. And then we also have the opportunity to create a menu link. Uh, and include an RSS feed into these, right? So let's go ahead and we'll save and exit this. And now we've created our view. So you'll see here, I've actually created five different pieces of content on this site. Um, I've got Bailey and Susie playing, I've got little Susie, I've got Bailey sprawled out, Bailey curled up, and Bailey in her house. And this is now available at dog images. So if I'm at home, right, this is my home page. I can now go to dog images. And I've got my, my content here that I can click on and actually go to the specific image that I'm looking at, right? I can go back, I can go a little Susie. Now, because we did this based on teasers, what this is actually developing or develop this view from is if I go to my content type, my dog pictures, go to manage display, and I look at my teaser, here's what we're seeing. All I see is the, I would obviously get the title, and then I'm getting the body, the label's hidden, and it's trimming the length. So if I actually want to see the image there, I can go and add this image. And it's going to show me the original image, which is going to be massive. So let's go ahead and we'll change that to a thumbnail. And that's actually based on another module um, that's pre-configured for image uh, manipulation. So maybe your image style, so that's where that's coming from. But again, beyond the scope of this video tutorial. But I can go ahead and save this. Now, if I go back to dog images, you'll see that I've added the actual image there. And that's because we're using the te teaser um, format in views itself. Uh, in the next video tutorial, we'll actually take a look at creating our own customized view where we'll add a title, we'll look at the actual views set up from itself, but we'll also look at the format. So if we wanted to change this to a table, we'll look at using our content, but actual fields. So we'll add custom fields where we can uh, you know, pull in a whole bunch of different information. We'll also look at sorts and filters specifically. So that's it for the first video tutorial. Again, we're going to have a lot to cover in this views video tutorial series. Uh, I hope that you're familiar with Drupal because it will require some basic knowledge. If you don't have that basic knowledge, check out the first couple of video tutorials in the Ubercart video tutorial series because they'll get you up to speed. And uh, again, I hope this helps. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video tutorial series. And if there's anything that you're looking for out of this, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, because I've got the outline, but you know, maybe we can uh, work some things in there. So again, we'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.